Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Police are investigating a deadly crash that happened at the Mayor Dusaw exit on I-10. We do know the crash happened around 10.30 last night and involved a motorcycle. No other details are known at this time. We will continue to follow this developing story. I'm News 10's Brett Lavasso. A spree of robberies and break-ins caused fear throughout a Lafayette neighborhood. It happened in a neighborhood near downtown Lafayette on Evangeline Thruway. Lafayette police have arrested and charged one man who they say is responsible for the thefts. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. A man was shot in the face in Jennings on Monday. 21-year-old Jonah Landry was taken to Lafayette General, where doctors attempt to remove the bullet. Jennings Police Chief Danny Sims says the investigation is ongoing, although the victim told detectives it was an accident. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor. A 59-year-old man in St. Landry Parish is recovering after being attacked by five pit bulls. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. The city of New Iberia is taking action in cleaning the community by tearing down rundown homes in the area. Multiple homes have already been demolished since the project began in 2020. Residents and council members have shared their excitement of the active approach they're taking in the community. I'm Renee Allen and Karen Crow. The tearing down of seven condemned properties is soon to get underway. The city says anyone with any interest in any of the properties should call the city to request a stop on demolition. Demolition is permitted to begin on October 15th. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. In Lafayette, Truman Elementary School is building a brand new $26 million education facility. A hearing will take place today to rule on former President Trump's request to have a special master review the documents seized from his Mar-a-Lago estate. A CDC advisory panel was meeting today to decide who should get a new COVID-19 booster that specifically targets the highly contagious Omicron strain. Serena Williams will advance to the third round of what she hinted could be her last U.S. Open. The tennis legend announced in an essay that she plans to evolve from tennis to focus on family and business. And once again, looking at some midsummer heat and humidity this Thursday, this first day of September, feeling more like late July or early August here. Highs going into the mid 90s. There will be some isolated storms later on today. Rain chances still pretty low here at 30%. All right, this morning's Acadiana Eats featuring Norbert's restaurant. Whoo, those uh, plate lunches looked so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> we finished each other's senses because they were key. And uh, we had Big Brothers Big Sisters joining us this morning. Danielle interviewed them about their 30 Guys in 30 Days campaign. Yep, a new campaign. They are trying to find bigs for their male littles. All of that information is on their website. Yes, and the Kiwanis Club of Youngsville and Broussard, they're talking about their shrimp oil fundraiser that's next Saturday, raising money for the club. We'll have more information on that as well. Thank you for joining us for POT. We'll see you back here at noon. Have a great morning.